COVID-19 vaccination and frequently asked questions. Did you ever wonder, can we ever end this pandemic? Well, the answer is yes. We can do that through acquired immunity. We can achieve acquired immunity through infection with COVID-19 or natural immunity or getting the vaccine. Why do we use vaccines then? When most people are vaccinated, the spread of disease is limited. When many have immunity, this also indirectly protects people who cannot be vaccinated, something that we like to call herd immunity. How can we reach herd immunity? Well, approximately 70% of the population has to be immune to COVID-19. This means if there are about 3 billion people, 2 billion have to be immune to the virus. And that's a lot of people. If we wait to get infected naturally with COVID-19, too many people will die before we reach herd immunity. And this is why it really matters if you get vaccinated. How do vaccines work? They train the immune system to recognize and fight pathogens. When you get the COVID-19 vaccine, harmless versions of the virus causes the body to make protective antibodies. When you get exposed to the virus in the future, your body remembers how to fight the infection. Will a COVID-19 vaccination protect me from getting COVID-19? Yes! Only vaccines that are proven to be effective and safe will be approved for use. Being protected from getting sick is important because even though many people with COVID-19 have mild disease, others may get a severe illness. And there is no way to know how COVID-19 will affect you, even if you're not at risk for developing severe complications. Can a COVID vaccine make me sick with COVID-19? No. None of the current COVID-19 vaccines contain the live virus that contains the disease. Therefore, you cannot get sick with COVID-19 from the vaccine. Sometimes, the process the vaccine uses to teach your immune system causes symptoms like fever. These symptoms are normal and are a sign that the body is building protection. When you get the vaccine, your body needs about a few weeks in order to make enough antibodies to protect you. That means it's possible for a person to be infected right before or just after vaccination and still get sick. This is because the vaccine has not had enough time to provide protection. After getting a COVID-19 vaccine, will I test positive on a viral test? No. Neither the recently authorized vaccines nor the other vaccines currently in clinical trials can cause you to test positive on a viral swab test. The goal of vaccination is for you to develop antibodies to protect you against the virus. Therefore, there is a possibility that you may test positive on some antibody tests. If I already had COVID-19 and recovered, do I still need to get vaccinated? Yes. Due to several health risks associated with COVID-19 and the fact that reinfection is possible, the vaccine should be offered to you regardless of past COVID-19 infection. Experts do not know how long someone is protected from getting sick again after recovering from COVID-19. The immunity someone gains from an infection or natural immunity varies from person to person. Some early evidence suggests that natural immunity may not last very long. Can those given convalescent plasma or monoclonal antibodies such as tocilizumab as treatment for COVID-19 be vaccinated? Yes. But vaccination should be deferred until at least 90 days after receiving the treatment. 
Based on the estimated half-life of these treatments, as well as evidence suggesting that reinfection is uncommon in the 90 days after initial infection, delaying vaccination for 90 days is a precautionary measure to avoid interference of the antibody treatment with the vaccine-induced immune responses. Can those on chemotherapy or immunosuppressing drugs be vaccinated? Yes! Immunocompromised individuals may receive the vaccine if they have no contraindications to vaccination. However, these individuals have to be counseled on unknown vaccine safety profile and effectiveness in immunocompromised people, a potential for reduced immune responses, and the need to continue and follow all current guidance to protect themselves against COVID-19. Can pregnant women be vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes! A pregnant person is part of the recommended group to receive the COVID-19 vaccine and may choose to be vaccinated. There are currently few data on the safety of COVID-19 vaccines in pregnant people. When a pregnant woman makes a decision about the vaccine, she should consider the level of community transmission, personal risk of contracting COVID-19, risks of COVID-19 to you, and the potential risk to the fetus. Can lactating mothers be vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes! A lactating mother is part of the group recommended to receive the COVID vaccine and may choose to be vaccinated. There are no data on the safety of COVID vaccines in lactating people or the effects of mRNA COVID-19 vaccines on breastfed infants or in milk production and excretion. Can I get other vaccines such as influenza vaccine at the same time I get a COVID-19 vaccine? No. Given the lack of data, this vaccine series should be administered alone with a minimum interval of 14 days before or after administration with any other vaccine. If an mRNA COVID vaccine is inadvertently administered within 14 days of another vaccine, the dose does not need to be repeated for either of the vaccines. Why are healthcare workers being prioritized in the COVID-19 vaccination program? This is actually an urgent and excellent public health strategy. Protecting the healthcare worker will protect the availability of essential health services critical in the pandemic response. Healthcare workers are also at high risk for acquiring COVID-19. Prioritization of healthcare workers is supported by the principle of reciprocity. Healthcare workers have been putting themselves and also potentially their loved ones at higher risk for the sake of others. Can the healthcare worker opt out from the COVID-19 vaccination? Yes, vaccination for COVID-19 will be voluntary. Healthcare workers should be a group who readily understands the pros and cons of immunization. For healthcare workers, the implementation of the COVID-19 vaccination is expected without much difficulty, hesitation, or problems with follow-up or compliance. We all have a role in ending this pandemic. Stay informed and listen only to the right sources. Be careful what you read about. And trust in science. Get vaccinated. Together, and only together, we can help end the pandemic.